Hello and welcome back to the Cock Dice. In this week's conversion video, we're tackling the Traitor Legion of Dark Angels. Sorry, sorry, Loyalist Legion of Dark Angels. So let's have a take a look at the bits we're going to use tonight. We're going to use an Incessor. Now, this kind of came out of a comment uh, someone else made on another video about fitting other torsos to the front of Pyrenees Marines. I think the uh, comment in question was about Dark Angel torsos. I've had a bunch of these Terminator torsos kicking around for ages. Uh, they're really cool, I've been meaning to use them. And I reckon that torso will fit on that Marine relatively well. So we're gonna try it. This is an utter, utter exper uh, experiment. No idea if it's gonna work. Um, I've grabbed a head from a Cordor Ganger from Necromunda, mainly because I like the chalice with candles in it on the top. That's gonna end up on his backpack. We've got some assault intercessor arms because he wants to have a sword. Um, gonna give him this Dark Angel Terminator sword. I've got another Dark Angel um, symbol here. Now I'll trim the sides off and I take the iron halo off the helmet and put the wings on the side of the helmet. These are really easy to come by on eBay and they're dirt cheap and way, way cheaper than the really cool wings from the um, veterans kit. So the first job is the, probably the biggest and that's gonna be getting this to fit on that. Now there's two things to note here. One, it's a bit wider. That's not a problem because I'm going to lob these arms off. But otherwise, if we want to get the skull up here, that should fit fairly well. And um, we'll have to break the green stuff out a little bit. So from this, we're going to have to take off the um, Terminator cowl at the top. We'll put that in the bits box because it's awesome. And then we'll take these arms off. So I'll get to that and I'll be back in a moment. Now I've created myself a bit more real estate to play with, we can see that this indeed is going to fit fairly neatly up on here. A little bit messing around. I might take these uh, side bits off here. Just going to leave them on to help fit the arms on later, but I think I'm just going to drop some green stuff in. Yep. Lining that up, that looks pretty good to me. We'll line it right up with his collar. The top. There's a bit of space in there. We need to take that pouch off, but otherwise it fits. So the next job's going to be getting some green stuff mixed up and we'll pack his body out just to give him some structure as we build. So we'll take our green stuff and we'll just stuff a little bit in his cavity here so we can test fit it. A little bit more than that. And this just helps stabilise it a little bit while we figure out exactly how he's going to fit together. You can see there where we're going to need to fix him and we're going to need to eke out a bit of extra space. Um, and sort out this missing bit of torso here and on this side. That's, neither of those are particularly difficult fixes. We'll get some glue on him here. So I've popped him onto a base and we've had a little bit of time for the glue to dry. So now we're going to stuff all the cracks with green stuff as quickly as we can. So as always, just grab a little bit, pop it in position, and then use a modeling tool with a bit of water on it to just soften it up and place it in position. So there we have it, from the front it looks good and from the sides it is fairly roughly packed. I've just smoothed it out as best I can and as always with these conversions we'll hide some of this with some extra pouches and gubbins uh, a little later. So I'm going to pop this guy to one side and we will get to work on the rest of the model. So the first thing I'm going to do on the helmet is going to be take off this iron halo. It doesn't fit, really fit with the chapter and I've got some other ideas for the helmet. So he's gonna very carefully cut as close to his head there as possible. Just a little saw-like motion, very gently just working your way down. So we'll put that to one side. And as you can see, we've got a few little marks on the helmet there. We're just gonna clean these up and scrape it down, get it nice and smooth. Now as a bit of an experiment, I'm gonna try and fit some wings to this helmet. I'm going to take the wings off either side of this sword and then just clean up this front edge a little bit with a knife blade. So we're going to fit the, the wings to the side of the helmet and this is probably the fiddliest bit of this build. We need to cut a line straight down through the middle of this kind of circular 
piece here because we're going to fit the, the wings behind it we need to make a little slot just to clean the connection up and we're going to cut in towards that very gently taking a few layers of plastic off to give us a nice flat area to stick the wings to then we'll drop some glue on and just stick them on let's try and get them as parallel as possible i think we're pretty good there so i think that's as about as close as i'm going to make it to keeping them parallel so we're going to pop this head to one side let it dry off a little bit before we attach it to the bowl next up is his sword arm now this is a fairly complicated one as well so i'll give him the power sword now i could just take the power sword off and add it over but that's quite a small connect so I think I'm going to take his gauntlet as well right back up to here so that keeps us really cool feather to trim down here and then trim off this bottom bit here and then we'll have to fit that somewhere along the odometer symbol because it's not quite as long so this is probably the most complicated bit of surgery and then also I want to take off this shoulder pad and replace it with a dark angel symbol and then a nice clean cut straight across the arm there, like that. Get rid of that bit as well. Clean the back of it up so it's level all the way across. And next we're going to measure up against the Indominus' arm. You can see that this fits most of the way down the gauntlet. And then somewhere around there-ish I want to take this hand off. Now before I do that I'm going to take the shoulder pad off gets in the right order so again I don't really want this one so we're just going to clip it all around take it off we'll clean that up now and the new Dark Angel shoulder pad fits pretty neatly on there so now we can start on trimming this arm down so when doing anything like this the best bet is just to test fit test fit test fit trim a little bit at a time and just keep going back to the original model and making sure that it's working as you expect it to so as you can see we've got a slight bend in his arm so i need to straighten this up a little bit so i do that by taking more off the top of this than the bottom got a good fit there so we're going to just glue this together quickly so when you see these things together give it a moment or two just to start to bond and then just spin it around check from all the different angles that it's nice and straight it's level both that way and across this way so you've got a nice clear view it's also probably worth getting the model itself and just doing a quick test fit and i've got some slightly tacky green stuff there so i can just tack this onto the side here and you can see where his arm's going to fit and that's going to fit pretty well so i'm going to glue this guy's arms and shoulder pad on now and then we'll get to work with the rest of him and see what other bits and pieces we need to do on him so he's starting to come together really nicely. We're going to sort his backpack out and then we'll just sort this little bit out down here with some extra gubbins and pouches and things. So for his pack backpack, I really wanted to take this arch from the corridor kit. So we're going to take it level with his helmet, level with his hat. So you can just see the, I'll take it actually all the way down there. Now, because this is quite wide and sits across the backpack, we're just going to have to take these two little nubs off the backpack so we can fit this on. So again, just a quick knife cross. There we go, and I can clean this any gaps up with a little bit of green stuff in a bit. So I'll get this guy this on him as well. So to hide or otherwise draw the eye away from this green stuff work here, we're going to drop a couple of pouches just down where his belt line would be, and we're also going to drop a little tilt shield with a cool sword. So this is possibly Dark Angel one, it's possibly a Grey Knight one. Uh, we'll drop that over this arm here, and that will help just distract you from the green stuff work and keep it all nice and hidden and so there we have it i think i'm pretty comfortable with that uh, as a finished conversion you can fit the robed terminator torsos onto primaris intercessors i think we've got a pretty good looking primaris or sergeant or lieutenant probably a lieutenant he's um he's a little post to be a sergeant but he just definitely does the business so if you hang around for a moment you'll see a painted version of him coming up next
And thanks for joining us here at The Clock Dice. Why not like this video and add a comment below? It really helps boost the channel. And while you're at it, if you click on the icon below, you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates as soon as they're live. Why not check out some of our other videos and playlists? You can click on the ones on screen right now. Take care, and we'll see you next time.